Welcome back, attractive and well-educated watchers, to a brand new episode of Chatamus Maximus, or rather, we suppose it's now... No, it's still Chatamus. It's Chatamus the Second. So, Chatamus Maximus, uh, here on uh, CK3, where we're making the Roman Empire great again. Last time we left off, we had some succession struggles. We, we had to figure out how the succession system works a little bit. Uh, but we got that figured out. We got the right We got the right emperor. He's Roman. He's Hellenic. Everything's going to go well. Capital's Rome. It's all going according to plan. So if you're excited to see what happens here today, remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, go on down to our Patreon via that link to link in the description. Pledge even just $1 a month to help support the cause. Join the Mighty Mighty Ranks of all the lovely people in the credit section at the end of every single episode. And get your name in the game. Well, without further ado, let's get going. Oh, yuck. We do not have good wet nurses. Can we find a wet nurse? We're going to search for a wet nurse. Okay. Uh, and yeah, we got all of... Yeah, I'll know these better. Uh, we got all of our empires all done up. We have six disabled buildings, but that's fine. We're going to just roll with it until we become so awesome that we are a legendary figure. Yeah, experience Gordiana. Uh, what was this again? This value. Already a religious icon. Okay, okay. What? Alright, alright. Okay, excellent. We just needed to know... Yeah, this is a much larger Roman Empire than ever previously existed in real life. Uh, also, okay, yeah, she's doing what she's doing. We gotta stamp out that old Hellenic. Uh, and then... Patronage. Five years until the late Middle Ages. Hellenism fervor is high. Innovations are all good. Oh, we even got peerage. Uh, nice. Okay, yeah, sure, sure. Dude, get out of our face. Hybrid culture formed. Not great for us, but it's... Not really where we are anyway, is it? So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, wise decision. Speaking Latin. No prisoners. We should... Probably... Do something... For more... Good stuff. Oh, no. There's plenty to do. Like a good seneschal. Good court poet. A decent court musician. Bodyguards. A court chronicler. Oh, very nice. Please keep everyone from getting sick. Search for legends. Personal champion, a bodyguard, and finally, a court jester. Not very powerful, so blam, there we go. We've got a full house. So, uh, yeah. We're just trying to become super awesome. Hunt. Prestige.
Uh, yeah, let's do that one. But not here. Yes, here. In Gerloch. Way away. With a substantial party and flushing gangs. We want to slay a great beast. Hire experienced captains. And a forest guide. Actually, no, still just cultural ambassadors. Always just cultural ambassadors. Alright. Why can't we start the hunt? Uh, duh. Because we're, we're still funeraling. Daughter of my vassal has given birth to a son. That son will be named Sheer. Truly heartfelt. Right, four months left. Okay, fair enough. What is our legitimacy? Our legitimacy is, like, actually huge. Uh, birth to a son, we'll call that son Progam. You know who you are. No, yeah, okay, it, it is to espouse legitimacy. He chose us right before he threw himself from the highest tower. Obviously, we're as legitimate as it gets. Speaking of which, traditional Maximus weddings. Guile, mm. erudition, glory. What's this? Courtier and guest. Better guests will be attracted. Piety, development, growth. True believers. Bureaucrats. Activities. Eager Reveler. Gener legendary Animal. Okay. Lordly Do. Huh. Okay. Oh, wait. Huh. Heroic Bloodline. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Heroic Bloodline. Legendary Watchtower. Living Legend. Venerated Ancestor. Mythic Holy Legend. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, it's gotta be... It's gotta be this one. Heroes of Old it is. Mighty Endeavor for Maximus Legend Seed. Once per Dynasty. Well, in that case... Oh, wow. Dragon Slayer. Obviously, it's gotta be the Dragon Slayer. This is you, baby! Alright. And we... Hmm. Yeah, let's do it from there. Actually, no. Make it. Make it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Make it, make it so that everybody else is talking about it. Commend abroad. <laughs> so everybody just here is like, oh yeah, you know, Chatamus Maximus just died. I hear his son, Chatamus II, killed a dragon. No chance of dying. Trying to make our uh, prestige go up. Not quite halfway there yet, but coming on pretty soon. Hmm. 
We're never gonna fuck it. We're never gonna get our damn witch coven. Fucking A. Three months. Get out of our face, please. It's not getting out of our face, please. Thank you. Alright. Four years, two years. Speed it up a bit. As much as it will speed up when we're so huge. Gotta stop the villain behind this. Gotta become us a legendary figure. Only 30 days. Notice how slowly it's going, because we're just so gigantic right now. We're so chonky that we just, we can't stop. That branch, Leonid. Daughter-in-law has given birth to a son. Okay, let's look up the big list, 2.0. And that big list says that this person should be named... Pseudonym. All right, that's a patron of ours, so, yeah. That's funny. We were just making so many cadet branches. Four days until it begins. Engaged in the wake. Oh, here we are, here we are. Make a speech Promising to rule in his honor. Sorrowful line marches on the line to have a last moment with High Priest Chatamus of the Byzantine Empire. A last whisper, a last goodbye, a last nothing. A last nothing at the last place anyone will see him again. Truly a privilege it is to be here. The line brings me ever closer until at last the figure in front of me parts. There is nothing but a veil between me and him. Make a speech promising to rule in his honor. Oh yes, I gaze upon a high priest Chatamus of the Byzantine Empire. In quiet contemplation interrupted only by the occasional will wisher offering their sympathies. Fool, fiend, fool, you dare call yourself Imperator or my bro- Oh, cause he- <laughs> he should have been. Hurls himself toward me, furious finger waving inches from my face. High priest Chatamus of the Byzantine Empire had designed for me to rule in his place, villain. Oh dude, if you guys saw last episode, we actually did. But he was Anglo-Roman instead of fully Roman, so screw him. Uh... We don't care. It's cool. Everybody mourns differently. Gotta stop villainry. Oh my gracious. Lessons in charity. Be generous. Oh my god. Okay. Cursed wild hyena, huh? Those later. Got a designated guardian. This guy. Make him Roman. Uh, nope, shouldn't care. Give him over. And conversion. Alright. Alright, keep going. Oh. Of all figures venerated and villainous, none have been desired more than our departed High Priest Chatamus of the Byzantine Empire. The Eastern Romans, you mean? <laughs> With his crown of a crowd of weepers and gawkers finding other subjects to satisfy their fascination, I am at last left with a moment of solace between myself and my father. Oh, Chatamus hair.
We shall take some hair. A lock of our father's hair to be forever and ever preserved. Yup. We like that. Nice. Uh, hunch beside me, bereft of the intense propriety, the inconsolable Rufinus. Oh, our son. Okay. It was his, yeah, it was, yeah, okay. It was his grandpa, so that makes sense. Uh, gazes out, of, out into the nothingness. Not a tear falls from his eyes. Not a word passes his mouth until he turns to me. Zeus can be cruel indeed. Why does the wind still yet blow? Why does the sea continue its push toward the shore? Why does my body ache for food and thirst for water? Doomsday is upon us. My grandfather is dead. Well, there is life. There is always hope. HOPE! The original Chathamus the first. All eyes fall upon Rex Valence of England as he falls to the ground in lamentation, hands coating his reddened eyes from view. Rex Valence of England's sorrowful gasps, s sorrowful gasps and chokes have left his fellow mourners breathless, and many offer him comfort and reverence, as if it were him who was the one to be committed th to the hereafter. We need to offer comfort to Rex. Because, of course, you know, earlier he was he was all like, it was supposed to be me. And sure enough, it was. It's a house seniority. He's the oldest male. And he's the highest sum of all skills in the entire family. But what can be done? Uh, so, oh, yep, still going on. I and the other mourners take a reprieve from our grief to enjoy a great bounty of food. Ducks Johannes of Dirachion, the usually the lifeblood of any feast, now sits across me for, for me misty-eyed with an untouched goblet at his side. How can we make, our, make ourselves fat and merry in times like these? Are we to satisfy our hedonistic desires while Chatamus has none? Join me! Empty our goblets in libation! Guests seem to agree. There's a wisdom. Uh, Yeah. He would want us to celebrate. Yeah. Uh, oh. Okay, sure, sure. A vassal often claimers to gain the attention. Uh, Martina would such a boon. Uh, yeah, give her some money. Uh, funeral. Mugs clash, ch uh, chatter blares, hands slam on the table. All in a chaotic cacophony of meaningless noise. I feel the sound pulse through my body, and then suddenly it all comes to a slow around me. A little more than a few words and an odd chuckle. The silence. I feel my heart begin to swirl, and in my mind a speech comes to me, fully written, growing from a whisper to a shout, desperate to be shared. A speech of my legitimacy as Imperator! I have the wit of Hermes, Athena... Heart and stomach of Ares. Athena acts through me. Oh. Damn. Rousing speech. Still in the wake. Before me a feasting table stocked high with all manner of food and drink. As if high priest Chatamus of the Byzantine Empire were trying to offer a final act of magnanimity before parting. Moxen has so far refused to lay a finger on this banquet, however, swilling his goblet around in idle solace. His middle dis distant stare falls warily upon me, and with a quiet nod he raises his drink high. To High Priest Chatamus Maximus of the Byzantine Empire, truly one of the greats. Yeah. And I will be greater still. Yes. The wake still going on. Important nobility, far too great in number to name, pass by the enshrouded body of High Priest Chatamus of the Byzantine Empire. Ooh, nice. Granting him a little more than a simple bow or a nod, as though gesture was sufficient to show one's reverence for a life. My heart weighs as heavy as my uh, my pockets, so full of trinkets and memories of Ch uh, Chatamus. I can't help but wonder why I should hoard objects which rightfully belong to him. Nothing less. Ah, uh, wait, one moment. No, we got to keep that one around. Um, yeah, 
surprise bow. The one he liked to shoot early in his career. When he was still doing hunts and stuff before he got all crazy. And, uh, you know, important. Over here, Max and chatting, he somberly gestures. We all have fond memories. I was just talking about my time, the time my grandfather, Chatamus, committed suicide. What? Yeah, no, why, why would you be just talking about how, whatever. Great-granddaughter-in-law, Vigilantia, has given birth to a son, and that son's name will be... Bjarka, after a patron. Now the time has come to commit High Priest Chatamus of the Byzantine Empire's final rites. He's Chatamus the Blood Father. Before his final journey into the hereafter, Chatamus lays wrapped in fine white fabrics atop a towering funeral pyre. The Flamen stands beside you with a torch, its light flickering in the wind. To see him surrounded by so many mourners and give a proper Hellenic burial gives me hope that perhaps I too will be remembered this fondly as an Imperator. I lower the torch and to the kindling and watch as the tower of wood is lit ablaze. All that's left now is to wait for Chatamus to be returned to ashes. Damn. That's some stuff right there. Finish funeral. Got a lot of legitimacy. A lot of legitimacy. Oh, we should try to forget. It's cool. Oh, worth a try. Let's slow this back down. Uh, whoops. You. Okay, four years left, two years left. Good, good. Moving on. We are literally just waiting for him to become a legendary figure. That's it. In fact, should we move faster? Maximus Chania! Ooh, cadet branches all over the place. That makes sense. Uh, yep, start promoting that Dragon Slayer math. Uh, okay. Let's carry on. Going behind this. Oh, our wife got pregnant. Cool. Only mean one thing. Must call the sheep. Uh. We're just gonna not. How about that? Thing. We've sadly got some disabled buildings, but got a lot of disabled buildings actually. Yes. Let's uh Go. Boom. Oh, wow. Should have gotten experience, Captains. This is fine. Can't wait. Now this guy's gonna get a bunch of prestige. Enthusiastic conversions. Nice. Very nice. You load some fiend. All right. I come down to the end here. We're Lombard sword. You can't justify such reckless spending. Come on. 
That being said... Uh, we believe... Yeah, we want the Maximus Crown. Luster's Scale Armor. Just as our father wore. Oh, what do we got here? Fertility. Diplomacy per level of fame is nice. Alright, let's get High Priest Chatamus Regalia. Ooh. What's this? Why not? Uses a battle axe. A yogurt recipe, of course. Alright. Supporting the M. And then... So this guy is gonna be, like, completely immune to all disease, personally. Yeah. Alright, alright. So, good for him. See how this uh, hunt goes. Move on. Uh, one moment. Not sanctioned. Okay. Saint Narsas. Uh. Nah. A grand funeral and then a grand hunt. Let's take our time to hunt. Never rolled with that. Ah, she got the dance and plague. Coming on pretty strong here. Hitting that home stretch. Let's look at our county control. Uh, hostile plants, of course. Giant leaf flora that can drug you from a distance with their pollen. Yeah, no, 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 but, uh, no, but I did learn that such plants exist. Yeah. <laughs> Herbalist is a good trait. Like, it is excellent for everybody. You should always get take the chance to get it. He's got an 80 learning. This guy knows more about God than anybody. Yeah, facts. Okay, we want our we want more stewardship. Oh, our wife, our wife. Words cannot describe. And now we have two perfect little boys, and those perfect little boys will be named. Uh, two seconds. Those perfect little boys will be named. Nell and Fisher. There we go. Boom. Surprisingly, uh doesn't look that bad in our in our territory. Doesn't look that bad at all. Good.
45 men each. Rough. Still going now. I'm gonna do this hunt. Soon. He can be persuaded, it's cool. And little, little bits of prestige spent here and there isn't a big thing. Now it's going quite a bit faster, we like that. Let's get out there. Oh, whoops. Okay, no, never mind. Could be persuaded. Let's... Increase the quality. Uh, lucky falconry glove. We don't need luck. It's cool though, thanks. More people to persuade. It's time. Let's go. A 51% chance. Oh. Nice. Nothing special. But we got a goose feather. And we gained 750 prestige. Did he convert to Roman? He did. Good. Alright, so this has been pretty fun. If you liked what you saw here today, remember to like, subscribe, go on down to our... Why is our... Okay, there we go. Yeah, like, subscribe, go on down to our Patreon via that link tree link in the description. Pledge even just $1 a month to help support the cause. Join the many, many ranks of all the lovely people in the credits section at the end of every episode. And... Oh, what? Uh, entirely unique plant. You happen to have the specimen on you? Rest Orchid. Yes. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks for coming, everybody. Stay safe, stay inside, stay healthy, and, of course, help. remember to help each other. Bye!